Hi, this is David Abonic Turtle with a quick look at the CDS basis trade. We start by assuming an investor who takes a long position in a bond. So this is the cash market. The investor buys the bond. And I'm assuming the cash spread is 5%. By spread, I mean the yield above the riskless rate like a U.S. Treasury. And that's a cash spread. That's compensation because the investor is assuming the risk of default on the bond. That's the credit risk. Now, the thing about the cash market is the investor needs to produce the funds in order to buy the bond. So we may assume that the investor goes to the repo market to borrow those funds. By repo, I mean the investor uses the bond as collateral to borrow the funds. And I'm assuming the cost here to borrow is 2%. So our investor is now earning a cash spread of 5% on the bond, but it cost him 2% to secure the funds in repo for a net cash spread of 3%. And again, that makes sense. The investor has the risk of the bond will default. Now, if it's a no arbitrage situation, there is going to be a synthetic market alongside the cash market here. Synthetic refers to derivatives. In this case, the corresponding derivative is going to be the credit default swap. And if there's no arbitrage here, that means credit protection sellers are willing to sell protection on the bond for 3%. Neither the credit protection seller nor the credit protection buyer need to own the underlying bond. They don't need to have an insurable interest. It's just referenced by the credit default swap. So credit protection seller here and our investor here can come along and in addition to owning the bond, having a long cash position in the bond, our investor here can purchase protection by buying a credit default swap. And here, under this no, no arbitrage, it, it costs 3%. So now in the synthetic market, our investor here is synthetically short the bond as a hedge to the cash long position. And now net-net, our investor here has a net cash spread of 3% on the bond, but has purchased credit protection at a cost of 3%. So that zeroes out, so there's no net cost to our investor. And what happens is if the bond defaults here, there's going to be a loss here on the cash position. However, our investors purchased credit protection as long the CDS such that the seller's going to pay him off and make him whole. So he's completely hedged out his default risk and appropriately the net cost is zero. And I've admitted several important factors. I will note the hedge is far from perfect here. This credit default swap is only a specific kind of guarantee. Nevertheless, we're keeping the example simple. Now negative basis trade. We start as before. I'm gonna assume the same scenario for the cash bond, 5% cash spread, again, yield above the riskless rate, with a cost to borrow on the repo of 2% produces a net 3% uh, spread. Now this time, our investor observes that in the synthetic market, the cost of protection is only 2%. And so our investor enters into a negative basis trade. That is to say, takes a long position in the cash bond, earning the cash spread, and then also purchases protection by buying credit default swaps, but because there's a difference, because the cash spread is greater than the CDS spread or CDS premium, now our investor is actually a net carry positive or is in a carry trade where He's earning, you can see, 3% minus the 2% cost, or plus 1%. And that's owing to the fact that there's a discrepancy here in the CDS market. And there is some protection. It's not perfect. But again, if this bond defaults, then our investor is going to be made whole in, by the credit default swap and the credit protection seller. It's not perfect because our investor incurs counterparty here risk, the risk that this counterparty will not pay off on the CDS. But so that's the negative basis trade where the cash bond is deemed cheap and the CDS is deemed expensive. It could be the other way around. If this CDS was trading, the premium here was trading at 4%, then we could have, we'd have a positive basis trade. 
and then the CD, the cash bond would be deemed expensive. So the investor could exploit that by shorting the bond and taking and taking the other side here on the CDS, which is to say being the credit protection seller, because that premium is going to be high. So this is David Harper, the Bonnock Turtle. Thanks for your time.